I'm going to do another pour over an existing canvas that I've done that I don't care for. This is a 12 by 16 deep canvas, so it's, and I've got push pins on the bottom of the canvas. Anyway, I had poured it last week or so, and it just is kind of drab to me, so I wanted to totally do something different. I had done two smaller canvas, six inch gallery wrapped canvases in black and white only. And I actually really like those. It kind of uh, had a, a lot of little dots or cells and they're, they're kind of like little pits, maybe bubbles, I'm not sure. And that one has even more, but I, sti I still like the look of it. So I may or may not keep these the way they are. So I thought I wanted to do another black and white with this one. And I also saw someone do a video of black and white and silver only. And I thought, okay, so I've got silver, which doesn't really look silver. It almost looks gray, but it is silver. It's a metallic. Got my white, my black, a white in a squeeze bottle. I always have lots of extra white. I have a charcoal gray a little bit. And this is Deco Art Rich Espresso. So it's kind of like between bronze and copper, kind of in between. I really like it. So I went, I was thinking I would like to do the black and white and silver and maybe add some of this to give it some warmth and another metallic. So that's my plan. All my black is usually Artist Loft Flow Acrylic. The white is Artist Loft Flow Acrylic. Everything I have is mixed about 50-50 with Flood Floetrol Latex Based, which goes with water-based paints. Do not get Floetrol oil based, it will not work. So everything's mixed with the Floetrol, and then I add just a little bit of water. I keep it in a squirt bottle uh, if it needs to just be loosened up a little bit and not so thick. You want you want it nice and fluid where it runs off your stick and it's creamy. I use treadmill lubricant. 100% silicone in a bottle. You can also use WD-40 or liquid wrench spray. I like to use the treadmill drops. Okay, so I have not added any treadmill yet, so I'm going to add, I'm going to add two drops to the espresso. couple to the charcoal and the silver there's quite a bit in here so I'm gonna add probably six or seven drops I, I just kind of squeeze I don't even really count I'm just gonna swirl that around a little bit Got a solo cup here. And since this is fairly dark for a background anyway, that's kind of a good thing, I think. So I'm going to kind of leave that the way it is. So I'm going to lightly kind of cover the bottom with the black. White. Charcoal. Yeah, you know, I think the bottle on this one, I mixed a couple. So I think part was silver, part was called nickel, and maybe part was called zinc. 
if I remember correctly. So I mixed three silverish metallics together. Okay, I'm gonna go back to the black. I do want this to feel dark, I think. I, I want it just to feel kind of like a geode, kind of natural and earthy. Charcoal. White. The metallic silver. The espresso. Charcoal. Silver. Black. I'm just going to experiment here. And I'm going to come around the outskirts of the canvas and because it's a deep canvas I need a, a good amount of paint to fall over the edges so basically I'm going to just move this up to the edge of this paint a little bit Okay, and I totally, totally forgot to put my gloves on. I'm going to go grab my gloves. This is butcher paper, which has a shiny side that I, that I put up. The dull side is down. The shiny side is coated with the plastic, so it does not let your paint seep through. And it's great for wiping off, or if you let your paint pour on it and you, it dries, you can use it for skins. metal foil pan that I got at the dollar store somewhere and so that's why I try to catch my drips in so I don't have as much of a mess to clean up. I have lots of cells so I'm just going to let it go ahead and
Sometimes I just drag my fingers through it. The espresso has not shown up much in this, I have to say. I'm going to do just a little bit more in this cup.
I like it. I like I like the small cells in this. I was trying to go for bigger Merlins, but um, I like the small cells, the way they're separating. And the little bit of lacing with the white is pretty. I have this one area right here. I think it was a gray spot in the middle of the black that I didn't care for. So, there it is. It looks pretty cool. It's kind of neutral and has a little bit of the warmth in the espresso color, but everything else, you know, you can't, I can't really see silver. It looks more gray. So I don't think the silver really had anything to do in the outcome of this painting. I think it was more the gray and white together. And the, uh, the silver was just, just kind of like putting gray paint in my cup. But I do like it.